Right, you lot, it's auction preview time, but before you buy your next car, whether it's at auction or used anywhere else, make sure you use Car Vertical, run a Car Vertical report on that car before you buy it, because if you don't, you may well unwittingly be buying an accident damaged car, one that's got outstanding finance on it, one that might have a mileage discrepancy on. It takes two seconds to run it. All you gotta do is put your plate into carvertical.com and it'll put up a massive report, all sorts of things you want to know, even things like outstanding recalls. It really is that simple. And even better than that, if you use the code TGE, all you gotta remember is just TGE, type that in and you'll get a special discount as well. So before you buy your next car, make sure you run a car vertical report. It really is that simple. And I absolutely wouldn't be buying anything before checking it out. Anyway, the link is below and I actually automatically apply the discount if you use that special link. Anyway, for now, let's head over to an auction preview and see what they got. Hello, hello, and welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, once again, another Historic Auctions preview. I'm taking you around on all access ahead of the next auction, which is this weekend at Windsor View Lakes. We are at the very scenic Windsor View Lakes, not that you would know, because there are cars absolutely everywhere. There are 191 lots, and I'm gonna pick out my top picks and things that I would be bidding on if I had a pot to pee in this month. So we're gonna go around and show you my favorites. I've already walked past one, so let's turn the camera around. We will get going. As always with these videos, then you will see in the corner of each windscreen, you will see a number. That's the lot number. You type it in on the site and it'll bring the car up. Very, very smart. There is a new site actually, Historic Auctions have got a new website, so actually you can type in a keyword as well. So you can type in NSX and it'll come up as well. On the wrist today, very aptly timed actually with a plane going over, we have got an Oceana Blue Ceramic 41 Pilot's Watch on from IWC. Denim strap, lovely, lovely stuff. Absolutely adore this, been wearing the hell out of it recently. Really, really cool, and that 41 mil size, absolutely perfect. Anyway, let's crack on because the first car in the crosshairs for me is this NSX. Very, very cool. And there is another NSX inside, which I'm gonna show you, because equally as interesting. This then is a 1997 Honda NSX. The estimate on this thing is around 50 grand. The mileage is 79,945, and it has got the all important, we're gonna go over here, door handles up here on the NSX. So the all important, very cool silver on red combo, but it's got the manual gearbox. You can't really have one without a manual gearbox. And these things, I think, will be very good news. So the designs are actually inspired by F-16 fighter jets and the current owner acquired the car in 2010 when the car had only done 67,000 miles. He used it, he's used it sparingly since then. And this one, of course, features the 3.2 litre V6 engine with 290 brake. Very, very cool. I do like an NSX. I haven't entered my kind of Japanese era, my JDM era. There are some very nice bits and bobs. I'm gonna gloss over some and I'm gonna go into immense depth on others. We've got a red on, red on kind of brown Bentley here with tan inside. Look at that, that is rich. That screams, I've had money for a long, long time, doesn't it? Look at that spec, very nice. Stunning Boxster S here. All the bits, maintained by Par Porsche, as we can see. Manual gearbox, that's jolly nice. These are cracking, cracking cars. Drove one not long ago, and I was very, very impressed. That is lot number 107. We've got an absolutely immaculate 944 here, right-hand drive, manual. Look at those velour seats. Rich. That looks like an enthusiast owned car. We got a 993 Carrera 4 here. Shock, I'm picking out the Porsches once again. Manual transmission, again, which is key in these things. You don't really want a Tiptronic one of these unless you're going just sort of cruising in it. Very nice, love the 993. And I've literally just driven a 993 Turbo with Porsche GB celebrating 50 years of turbo um, over in a house near Goodwood. I didn't drive it in the house, I was staying in the house and then took the car out for a drive for clarity, a 996 Carrera Bogo, as we say, but that's got a manual gearbox as well. There are a lot of manual gearboxes here. Storics do have pick of the bunch a lot of the time. There's a lot of manual lovely porkers always about. We've got a whole gaggle of Defender, so make sure you type in Defender into the site if you're after Defender, because there are, I can't count, six coming up for this auction. We've got, I think, a CLK 63, very rare car. Very rare indeed. These are great because you can take the whole side 
down, the whole side opens up. Stonking, stonking car for money. That is a Q car, it's debadged as well. The only way you'd know, it's obviously you've got 6.3, but at the back, nothing there. That's cool. Always a firm favorite of people. Lot number 162 is this Ford Sierra RS Cosworth. Only 89,000 miles. Looks absolutely original, which is pretty rare for these because most of them have been abused at some point. There we go, look at that. Literally factory seats, the whole lot. Factory gear knob, factory steering wheel. There we go. That's how it's done, ladies and gents. The little RS on the dash there. RS Cosworth on the sill. Very, very cool. Estimate on this is around 50K. I can see that going a lot higher. These are unbelievable. And they are investment grade. I am whizzing. There are loads of things here, so make sure you just go and get through the whole catalogue. And if you sign up, you can get the paper catalogue delivered to your door. And it's a very nice, uh, very nicely done catalogue at that. Loads of cars. Look, I'm just going to let you see in the background most of these because there's 190 cars. We haven't got all day. None of you are going to stick around for even five to ten minutes of this let alone the four hours I would need to go through absolutely everything. But just give you a little taste. If you want to drive around, pretend you're a police officer from many decades ago, that's here. This then is here as well. This is absolutely mental. But, I think you know what I'm going to say, this is actually a replica. This is probably one of the best replicas though I have ever seen in one of these. It got me. I asked Matthew earlier, was it a real one? It shows what I know. I didn't go and look at the engine and stuff, but that is very, very, very well done. Right, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Matthew's here. Right, I haven't read the, the blurb on this. What have we got in here? Chevy V8 in Chevy V8. Can you see if any works on the ship? No pressure. Here we go. So yeah, it's got a Chevy V8 in it. That is good. That looks mega. Obviously, you do your best Wolf of Wall Street impression. Go on then, off you go. We are on setup day here, so there's going to be all sorts moving around the place. It's a little bit chaotic. Just done some filming with Vicky Butler Henderson. We're going to find her in a minute. In it goes into the marquee. We're going to head in there in a second. This is actually really, really, really nice. All jokes aside, this is very, very special and a very rare opportunity. Uh, Club Sport car, but it's a 996 GT3 with those epic, iconic, wing backed bucket seats in there. Look at those low mileage car obviously it's a manual you can get it in any other guys but completely original he says other than an exhaust but low miles presenting very very nicely if you want a 996 gt3 i suspect this will go through for a decent price couple of cool retro cabs that's wicked you can channel your inner layer cake in this. This is lot number 116. Stonking car for the money. Absolutely stonking. When RS6s were really cool. They're cool now. But this is when they're in their heyday. Ridiculous. Got the Historics truck over there. That is not available to bid on. We got a couple of vintage Gs as well. I could see myself in one of these. If I didn't have my Brabus, I'd have a vintage G wagon. We've got a couple here. That's lot number 117 and 119. I'm actually just trying to work out whether or not this is part of the auction lot or a crime's being committed. Not 100% sure. I'm sure we'll find out. Hello. In here then, we have, as if by magic, the Lamborghini's moved. We've got bikes as well. We need a Hoover. We are on a setup day, so do not judge anything you've seen. It'll all be looking spick and spam. Got a load of lovely bikes here. Got vintage Honda there, looks like brand new. We've got a BMW Z1 Hardgar. These are absolutely sick. I haven't seen one of these on the roads for years. We have doors that kind of come up like that. It's a manual gearbox, left hand drive, but it's tuned by Hartger. The standard car is rare enough, let alone that. That is really cool. Imagine quaffing around the south of France in 
that. That is lot number 221. Look at that interior. Woof. In the back there, we have some hot good badging as well. There is a car over here that I want to show you very quickly because that is very, 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 very nicely done. It's not what I came to show you. I wanted to show you this because this is a car. They didn't sell many of these. It's a rare, rare car. You never really see them. This one is only covered 432 miles from you. It's, of course, a Honda NSX. But it's thought to be less than 150 of these were registered in the UK. I suspect it's way lower than that. And this has actually just come freshly serviced from Honda. So it's done no miles. We've got a carbon roof on there. And I drove one of these and was really, really impressed. There we go. I was really impressed by these. It's basically a mini 918 is how this drives. Really, really underrated car. I don't think they got the love and recognition they deserved. And I think the estimate's around 90 to 105 grand, thereabouts. That's a lot of car for the cash. We've done a feature on this car, Mustang Bullet over there. That's on the Historic Channel. You're going to have to look at that. Lotus Carlton here, lot number 233. This was ultimate dad goals. If your dad had one of these, you were a cool cat. These are absolutely absurd. This is where manufacturers were just teaming up and making complete nonsense. That, it, that was the ultimate kind of getaway car back in, I think it was, must have been the 90s. Love them. Ferrari, as you do. So much going on. I do want to draw your attention. Oh, look at that Corniche, rich. I do want to draw your attention to this. This is the electric 911 that I drove at Rint many moons ago. This is a twin motored electric 911 with, I mean, some of you have seen the video. It's a bit of a niche video, so not everyone saw it. With a manual gearbox. Really, really clever done. Um, Tractive suspension, really expensive. Race suspension, essentially. Really clever, infinitely adjustable, but that is a hell of a lot of car, and I don't know what that's gonna go for, so someone may well be getting a bargain there. The Rolls-Royce of motorbikes here, Honda Goldwing. I mean, you can go across many, many continents and this. This is ridiculous, look at it. It's all going on, you name it. Whatever you're after is there. You can quite happily chill as a passenger on that as well. Look at it. Brilliant. We've got an amazing twisted Defender there. Got Toyota. It's all, all in stock. Should you want any military inspired vehicles, we're in stock. But this is a bit of me. This really is. 60 year anniversary car, bucket seats, soft top. That is absolutely epic. It's like the G-Cab, except I suspect a lot more affordable. Very, very good news. I like that. I like that a lot. It's lot number 239. Anyway, a little snippet of what you can expect at the next auction. That is this weekend. There is a preview day. Bye. You can come and check out all of the metal for yourself and go through all the history files and all the rest of it and talk to some of the team here. If you are going to bid, make sure you register before you bid. All the details will be below. For now, thank you very much for watching. And as always, and loads of you do, let me know with what you're bidding on, what you win, and keep you posted. Ciao.